Okay, Virgo. So it looks like something has happened. Um, and keep in mind, it can always be you, someone around you, friends, family, whoever. It's almost like, it looks like they're protesting something at the front door. Maybe she escaped from the back door, you know? So, escaping something, getting away from something, um, and it could have caused, it could have been sudden. But I feel like there's a villain around. You know, sometimes people win and there's nothing you can do about it, honestly. Um, hmm. So, anyway... I, I just see there's there's no chemistry, there's no passion, and, and it's probably because you don't really love this person or whatever. Um, maybe the love is gone, so it's like an unrequited love. There's just not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship going, um, you know? Okay, Virgo. Oh, goodness. So... Um, there could be a separation. You know, I always pick up a father figure in your, your readings. Um, something could have happened, you know, I'm picking up maybe this was something in the past. Something could have happened with a father in the past. Something traumatic. Um, you know. So... You see what I'm saying? It's it, so some maybe memories, um, healing from past memories, things with family, a broken home, just whatever. You know, it can be anything like that. Virgo. Let's see, Virgo. Hmm. Virgo, you could have. See, so this could be something like when you were a child. Maybe you could have a father issue going on with a child. Maybe it just causes a lot of stress, a lot of worry, anxiety, fear. I see a lot of fear. Ooh, goodness. So maybe something happened with a mother a long time ago. Um, you know, someone could, I don't know. There's a lot. Um, I don't know what I'm picking up, but anyway, Virgo, someone could be looking at someone's house, trying to figure out where they live, where they went, something. So maybe something happened. Someone could have been admiring things that you had also. So someone could be focused on work. I just feel like someone's controlling, possessive. Um, I'm picking up a bunch of different energies. Let me kind of get the feel for your reading, and then I'm going to come back around. But I'm picking up a lot of different stories. So you could be dealing with a player for one. It could be a Leo, heavy Leo, heavy water sign, um, air sign. Okay. Um, now I'm trying to call you Taurus. Um, Virgo. All right, Virgo. Mm. So, Virgo, there's someone who's completely stressed out. Whoever this is, this person's worried, stressed, they feel trapped, stuck, very disappointed in something that has happened. Um, someone could have moved suddenly, suddenly left, suddenly disappeared. Um, someone has, like, no closure, a lack of closure. Maybe someone did something suddenly because they thought that this was their happiness, that this was going to make them extremely happy. But now they feel trapped and stuck somewhere, confined. Um, Virgo. Someone could be in jail. I think I said that. Virgo. Mm, goodness gracious. So, there could be someone around you that could be in jail. Doesn't have to be, of course. They feel stuck, bound, restricted. You could be dealing with a water sign. Mm. Something's happened. You have the three of swords. Maybe someone needs help with money, with finances. Virgo. Ooh, 
So the high, the high priestess and the moon. I feel like there could be a court situation coming up. Someone could be expecting, I don't know, a court date, going to jail, getting out of jail, something like that. Um, I feel like someone is confused there. Let's see, Virgo. So you have the Four of Pentacles. Um, I feel like you have someone around you. They hold a lot of things back from you. Or they feel like you do. There, see, there's a, there's a money situation for some of you. Someone could be looking at what they've lost. Um, trying to block someone out. You could be blocking this person. Whoa. Virgo, be careful that you don't have someone coming around you admiring you for what you have. Things like that. Um, I think this person feels like they can pull the wool over your eyes or they tried to. There could be like two or three people in the mix. So it could be a family situation. It doesn't have to be. But, um, but this person feels like you have all of the means to... To give them what they want. Something like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can make things happen. And they can just call on you. Um, Virgo. So, this could be a child, a sibling. It could be a cousin. It can be anyone. A baby. I feel like you carry all the responsibility all the weight. Um, I feel like whoever this is, possibly they do make you happy, but you have the five of wands. I feel like this person does make you happy, like your sunshine, something like that. But I think it, you have a internal battle with how you feel about this person. Mm. See, you could be dealing with a water sign. Like this person could honestly just be a player and you know it. Very controlling. Um, they possibly just leave you out in the cold. Like, you know what this person's about, but maybe they just, I just see someone disappearing, suddenly disappearing, like off the face of the earth. You don't even hear from this person. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign that's dealing with an air sign, possibly. This person watches this other person. So, I don't know if you have a friend situation going on, siblings, someone around you, other groups of people. That's what I'm picking up. You have a lot going on. Um, someone may want to talk to you, but they feel like they're being watched or something and they can't really openly express how they feel. Mm -hmm. Um... Virgo. Uh, Virgo. So, I feel like there's some type of travel. Maybe someone wants to separate from someone and travel. Um, I feel like something happened unexpectedly. But I'm telling you, a lot of you could be dealing with a fire sign. They, they're a player, to be honest. They, I think they leave you feeling rejected. They're just a user, a liar, a player, manipulator. Um, Virgo. So, Virgo, you could have someone, they constantly want another chance with you, constantly. They come in with their cup, and then they leave you like this, feeling just like nothing. You know, I'm telling you. <coughs> I'm sorry. You're dealing with a player. And I think you know this. You've really been hurt by this person repeatedly, probably 40, 50 times, it seems. Um, it's just like a never-ending cycle with whoever this is. Okay, Virgo. So, it looks like 
maybe you're moving away from this person or you need to. I feel like Spirit is trying to get you away from whoever this is. Um, because it's a repeated cycle. It's the same thing over and over and over. Oh, goodness gracious. You see? So, I think whoever you're dealing with is a hoax, a liar. They're, they're fake. They're just fake. They're not who... Or you probably even know this person's like this. Now, I will say, Virgo, see, this is the other story I'm picking up on. You could be dealing, there's like a couple. It could be siblings. It could be whoever, a family member, a couple. So, this person could be, or you, whatever, could be traveling across the world, across the seas, to another state, another part of the country, suddenly just suddenly disappearing, left a home, um, maybe didn't even communicate something. Could be dealing with a cancer. I'm going to quickly go back around because I, I'm not very satisfied. I want to get a little more details. Okay, um, Virgo. There's a lot going on, um, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. So you have the Ace of Cups. So you could have unconditional love for whoever this is, but it just seems like it doesn't go anywhere because you have the King of Wands in the reverse again. Um, Virgo. See, I just feel like you get constantly left disappointed, disappointed just over and over and over, unhappy. Like, your mind is not at ease. Um, maybe a lot of secrets have come out. <sighs> See, someone could be trying to come back to you. Someone wants to come back. I feel like you have an air sign. I feel like you have someone stalking you, watching you. Very protective, like, I don't know. It's weird. Um, like, you don't have any freedom or something. Um... I just feel like you had unconditional love for whoever this is, but you're constantly left disappointed. You possibly could have a child. Maybe you just like stressed out, worried to death about something. Or you could have a father figure around you, someone else that's worried to death about you. Um, now I'm trying to call you Aries. Um, Virgo. Virgo. So you could be dealing with a, um, um, another Virgo, um, why is my mind going blank? Virgo, um, Capricorn, Taurus. Let's see, also an air sign. I feel like you have someone who wants to come back around and work things out. Um, Virgo. See, the Knight of Wands, though. You have the King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, though. So, I don't know if you help someone financially. Do they help you financially? Maybe you feel trapped and stuck having to ask someone for finances or vice versa. You know, someone could constantly come to you asking you for finances, but... I'm trying to tell you this person is... Mm. So there's something about... There's something about family support. Healing from the past. Childhood trauma. Um, parental care, though. Like, maybe you help support parents. Or maybe your parents help support you. Something like that. I always pick up a big, heavy parent situation in your readings. Um, Virgo. Um, Virgo. Ooh. So you have the Eight of Wands. The Queen of Wands reversed. Virgo, to be honest with you, I don't think this person has a lot of respect for you, and I'm just going to have to be honest with you now. I said, how do they feel about you? 
the Queen of Wands reversed, um, Knight of Wands, I mean, Knight of Cups reversed, Ace of Wands. You know, you know what it is also? This person may feel like either they just want to come in and have sex with you or something like that. They're a player. Or maybe you hold back your sexual um, passion, things like that, from this person. Could be that. So maybe this person accuses you. Maybe, you know, it could be that. If you don't want to have sex or something with this person, they could accuse you of cheating. But I don't think that's the case. Um, Virgo. So I'm telling you, Virgo, this person, they don't, they're not going to let you get away. They don't want you to get away. They want you to stay put right where you are. I mean, I do feel like this person sees you as the one, um, but see what I'm saying? But this person, now you could be dealing with someone who's abusive also. They do what they want to do. Um, could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, um, Virgo. This person may try to gaslight you and act like you're the one doing things, but it's them, you know? Okay, Virgo. Um, Virgo. Virgo. So, I think you want the truth about something. Maybe this person keeps you confused, constantly confused. They don't communicate with you. They lie to you. Maybe you have questions. Are they seeing someone else? But they don't tell you anything. You know, it's like, it's it doesn't ever change. You could possibly be waiting for this person, but... I do feel like you're on to this person. You know what this person's about. Um, Virgo. So you have judgment. Oh, goodness. The, um, could be dealing with a Libra, but I'm telling you, I feel like there's some type of court situation happening, coming up. I don't know about what, but it could be anything. Um, So you could be dealing with a Libra for some of you. Okay, Virgo. Could be a Cancer. But I just, I feel like the situation is the Four of Cups. It doesn't matter how many times. Mm, you see what I'm saying? This person, whoever you're dealing with, um, they only care about themselves. They're very selfish. They they worry about everybody else. They'll get to you when it's your turn. It's like this person takes turns. They rotate people. And then they leave you out in the cold. And then they come back. And when it's your turn. I, I swear that's what I'm getting from this. You're on a, a wheel. And there's... Hell, this is Jane, Susie, Bobby, whoever. Mike, um, Lucy. I, I don't know. That, that's what I'm getting from this. I'm dead serious. Um, now, if it's not that, you know, you could be traveling somewhere, a beach trip, just going somewhere, traveling. Um, but I feel like escaping a situation, something, maybe someone got themselves in a pickle and now they are, they are trying to escape something. Okay, Virgo. This reading is so crazy, I know. So there you are, the outcome. So, seven of wands. So either someone around you is standing up for something, defending something, saying, no, hell no, we won't go, something. Or, something could be canceled. Moving out of a home, I see. Um, it just hiding a lot of secrets. Someone could be already in a relationship, honestly. Um, I feel like your eyes or someone else's eyes are open to a situation, you know? I think, I think you need a fresh start with something or someone or someone around you just needed a fresh start. Hmm. I'm also like seeing a hot air balloon. Um, Virgo. So, ooh, I don't know. Some someone could have a chemical imbalance also. 
Someone could have traveled at a distance, a long distance. Say, whew. So stop, I'm telling you, the death and the tower. Something could have suddenly happened just out of nowhere. Could be dealing with the Gemini also. Maybe someone just took off wanting a new beginning. You know, just took off. Mm -hmm. Just walked away from everything, left everything behind, maybe for someone new and didn't tell anybody. Just, I'm just seeing like a sudden takeoff, disappearance, something like that. Um, I don't know, Virgo, you have a lot going on. So maybe, so maybe someone had like someone secretly, like a secret crush, secret romance, maybe talking to someone online and they just took off. Um, so that is what I have for you though. I will see you in the next one.